Members of a Boyle County community are hoping to raise money to keep their pool open for the summer. Our Vossi Proko spent the day talking with board members and the community about why they say their efforts are so important. Vossi. The Streamland Swim Club pool in Danville has been in existence since 1965. Now board members are asking for help to keep their precious piece of longtime entertainment open and safe for everyone in the neighborhood. Board members say their goal is $35,000 to keep the pool open this summer and the start of next summer. It's time to splash into summer. The Streamland Swim Club pool gives children the opportunity to enjoy their summers with friends and family. But one board member says that it's tough to keep the pool going and they need help. It's clear, it's clean, and the kids love it, but we're running short on funds right now. We are, we don't make no profit off none of this. I mean, <clears throat> it's, I don't know, if it wasn't for the kids, I probably wouldn't do it. Because it keeps these kids off the streets. It gives them a safe haven to come to. Every position is volunteer-based, except for their lifeguards. Resident Campbell Johnson comes every summer to swim and decided with her neighbor she was going to help raise money to keep the pool open after COVID. We did a GoFundMe, and then we went door-to-door -door and passed out flyers in the neighborhood. Johnson and her neighbor Maggie raised just over $10,000. It was really rewarding, and I remember I was, like, so tired. It was, like... 10 or 11 miles around the whole neighborhood to pass out flyers. But then after, like, when we were watching the GoFundMe and all the money was coming in, it, like, kind of, it felt really good to know that we, like, helped. Now Johnson is following in her mom's footsteps as a lifeguard at the very pool where her mom once worked. My grandparents were on the board a long time ago, and my mom was a lifeguard here when she was in high school. I've always gone to this pool. I remember, like, I was really scared to go down the slide, and my dad, like, made me go down the slide to get over it and, like, I learned to swim on the side of the pool, like holding on and stuff. Eric and Jean Smith grew up at the Streamland Club pool. It started with their parents, then it was their turn, followed by their children and now their grandchildren. Our son actually just lives across the street. Across the street so so he has two grandsons that come here now. Yeah, so and they're, they're sort of holding on to the legacy. So we're like third generation, fourth generation here. Eric Smith was a lifeguard in the mid-70s, and his dad was the president of the pool board. And he says he would hate for the next generation of kids to not have this pool open anymore. Just from a memory creating aspect between her and I, it was a big part of our teenage years. I mean, I was a sophomore in high school. She was a junior when we started dating. So it was, this was this is part of our childhood here. And I, I would really hate for future generations not to have the opportunity to do this. The swim club also holds events like $5 swim days, 5K runs, and you can even rent out the pool to host birthday parties or family barbecues. If you'd like to help donate, you can head over to our website at fox56news.com. Bodie.